Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Breath Edge. I'm Flinger Fu, and today I'm kind of just taking a look around here a little bit. This is the place that we ended up uh, with the guy who was busy uh, shaving with a chainsaw while we were, uh, uh, or while the crash was happening, which is apparently a bad thing to, to do. I mean, don't shave with a chainsaw. All right, and pay no attention to the scissors in my uh, um, hand, and then the, this fabric has been cut out. I swear I didn't do it. That wasn't me. Actually, it totally was me, but still. All right, uh, let's see. There we go. All right, so now... All right, what are these again? Garbage. Drill. Okay, so two. What are these things again? These are electronics, right? Electronics. Okay, yeah. And apparently I'm going to need these things. Right, I've already looked down there. All right, and then we've got quite a few different places that opened up to us when uh, we got here. It says, like, hey, you know, go take a look at all these places. We need to go find an engineer specimen. No clue what that is, but apparently we're looking for it. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. Okay, I get it. Radiation, right? See, what is... There has to be something up here. This stuff. Metal. All right, yeah. Tons of metal up here. Okay, so this spot up here is where to go get lots and lots of metal. Remind me of that later when I forget where to get all the metal. Right? Because you know it's going to happen. Hey, look, more metal. See, told you, that's where you go to get all the metal. Okay, so, yeah, and it's, I'm totally gonna forget exactly, you know, where to get all the metal, but it's a thing. <laughs> Let's see. A whole bunch of this stuff. Then we'll go in and get some oxygen, then we'll go take a look at the next one. I understand. See, I, I as I uh, play this game more and more, I get less and less worried about the lack of oxygen. I mean, yeah, the lack of oxygen sucks, but it's it's not nearly as bad, you know. I mean, come on, it's just it's just gasping for air, dying in the vacuum of space a little bit. I mean, gosh, yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm so mean to my guy. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, so there's one over here. One way up there. We're going to have to go take a look at that one as well. I, I'm feeling it's probably inside there, so I want to go do that one last. Oh, is this aluminum? It is! Hey, buddy! How you doing? Oh, no, I broke my drill. No. Oh, man. All right, hold the phone. We need a new drill. All right, new drill. We grabbed it out of there. I already had one. And it's a good thing because I almost went to go make one. It's like, we have no source of alkali here. At least I haven't found one. So, yeah, making batteries. I mean, I've got a bunch of batteries already pre-made over the other place. But, yeah. Now, let's see. Which is one? All right. I want to break these things. Hello. That's some duct tape. All right, let's get over here. We've already looked up there. Where is, oh, it's way up there. A small intact spare oxygen cylinder. You can make a blueprint of the real small oxygen cylinder, which is forbidden to be installed on any non-state suits, including Breath Edge Company funeral suits. A detailed plan of the habitation module. Oh, hey! Habitation module! All right. This. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, intestinal. Oh, dude. Somebody was making stuff out of the intestines. Great. I mean, I understand that you know, fun and games must be had at all times, but come on. That's a bit much. 
Oh, what is that? Where'd you go? There you are. Come here. What is that? Oh, magnet! I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Lots of fabric up here. All right. Oh, hey, found a battery. Yeah. All right, let's get down here. All right, so if we need to, we can make another drill just because I found another battery. All right, so hey, that's big pluses. All right, let's see. Okay, let's get our oxygen and then we're going one, two, three. Oh, what, what? That one just popped up. Okay, and apparently we didn't find everything up there that we needed to. Okay, fine, back up there. All right, okay, so it's telling me I need to go here as well. Something is apparently here that we need to get. Oh, I, 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 I don't want that. Fine, I will take it. I can't say for certain what body parts are mixed here. Ew. But it seems he had a good lunch before the crash, for sure. I didn't want to take that. Ooh. Okay, so. What is this? Ooh, hello. What are you? Oh, hey, all right. I like more oxygen. It's always good. Oh, dude, you could have used more oxygen. Oh, hello. You're a big one. Has a magnetic mask. Oh, hey, I found a magnet. Okay, let's get oxygen. Get back down. All right. Let's go see what it takes to make that. Oh, that's right. I have to go down this way and then cut across by Albuquerque. Yeah, I know. All right. See, I'm getting better at that. All right. So what does it take to make equipment? Compensator. Do we have a compensator? Get rid of that intestinal dog. <laughs> Can't believe that. Magnet, battery. We don't have a compensator. What? How does it... Okay, so equipment... Items. Compensator. Alkali, refined metal, titanium. Okay, so we need alkali. I don't know where to find any right now. All right, let's go see. Maybe the asteroids around here. Are there asteroids around here? There is. Look at that. See, look at this. Let's go see if we can find some alkali over here. All right. Found some alkali. I'm going to grab all of it. Okay, so... I'm over here on this one right here. And I think I saw another one up here. No, this one's electronics. Nope. Where am I going? Okay, so, yeah, I think we can make this compensator thing, and then we'll see exactly what this thing does. Okay, so titanium and refined metal. So, let's see. We've got... Aluminum. Titanium. Two refined metal. All right. Compensator. Oh. Compensator? <laughs> Gotta remember, don't click away right away. This is an arc. All right, equip, uh, thick electrical tape. So, items, no, 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 resources, bam. All right, and 
Oh, this gives me plus 125 oxygen. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that oxygen go! Oh, yeah, 200 oxygen, baby. All right. Let's see, uh, open that up, put that one in there. Um, let's see. All this stuff away. And we're gonna head over to the big places. That's cool! Oh, hold on, we need water. All right, there we go. Also, I gotta remember to pick up some more ice while I'm out and about. While I'm out here shopping, just add some ice to the shopping list. Be fine, right? See, there's some. And then also, I pass some right up here. Yep, all right, cool. Also, if we see any green goo, we'll probably get that. Oh, hello. Mmm, pieces of candy. Look at these. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, don't get... Don't get discouraged. I'm just pounding on you. It's okay. What's that? Construction kit? Okay. So we found a construction kit. Whatever that's for. What is that? Hammer, a chisel, some nails, and two rolls of electrical tape to build and... <laughs> okay, all right. What's that? Is it the body part I'm thinking of? Oh, nope, it's just a finger. This won't do. Oh! So much cool stuff out here. Oh, that was an extra scanner just chilling out? Okay. And let me grab the rest of this stuff. We'll see what all kind of stuff we can pillage from this. Okay, so that place was kind of a gold mine. Here, let me get in here. And being able to stay out here in um, space for a long, long time, super cool. All right, let's see. Yeah, full inventory with all sorts of different stuff. I found a couple more magnets, some scissors, I mean, all sorts of cool stuff. Look at this. I mean, you want metal? We got it! Right? You want, uh, magnets? Got those too. Light bulbs? Sure thing. All right. You want, uh, some rubber? Yep, got that too. Extra scanner? No problem. I just threw those on the ground, didn't I? Yep. I, I wanted those there. Yep, that's that's my plan. It was my plan all along. All right, so let's go explore the other bits. Actually feels nice to uh, actually have some headway here. All the interior was torn out by depressurization. Okay. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. There's gotta be something here. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Oh, can we go inside this one? What a strange place. But maybe we can find something useful here. Hello. You're a new color. Oh no, that's just metal. Never mind. Never mind. Not the most useful instrument in space. Okay, but I'm still gonna scan it. Oh, hold on. Hey, we learned piano! Unfortunately, this isn't what we're looking for. Although, I would think of getting a- Why do you need a new spacesuit? I'm better than any new spacesuit. I recommend just upgrading the current equipment. For example, paint the helmet. I'm sure it will help. Oh, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? No, don't be stuck! I'm stuck! Can't move! No! I'm stuck in the piano. Okay, this really sucks. 
A witty toy with a non-witty name. The developers are clearly 13 years old. Right, I can tell that. And then they make me get stuck in with a hand inside of a piano. No! Ah! No! And there's even a shawarma! Ah! No! Goodbye, cruel world. And now as I'm waiting to die, it sucked me in more! Oh my gosh, this is like the most medieval, horrible, nasty, just, oh, just atrocious trap that ever trapped. Oh, oh, we're out! Oh yeah, all right, get oxygen. Woo! Okay, I was expecting to die. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to get back there. Just avoid pianos from now on, Flanger, okay? Because pianos, they will suck you in and not let you go. All right, so let's go see what... Uh, the new suit was because I'm not sure if anyone's aware of this. There's a lot of radiation here. All right, let's see. So the suits, equipment. Is that it? Helmet covered with paint. Aluminum, glass times two, paint times four, plastic times two. Oh, we're going to have to go back over to the other place, aren't we? Over to the paint storage shed. I think we will. That's a lot of paint that we need. Also, we need glass, too. Okay. Alright, hold on. How much? Okay. Oh, wait. Thank you. Alright, let's go take a look at these again. And avoid pianos from now on. Alright, let's see. What is this? Wait. A repair tool! Okay. And we kind of avoided a piano. All right, let's go over to the next one. Where are you? Over here. Okay, I see radiation. All right, so we're gonna have to... The durability of the engineering modules is impressive. Even such asteroids couldn't crash them. This is it. I wasn't sure if the engineer's legs remained intact, but we were lucky. Unfortunately, due to the security protocol, I cannot tell you that the special magnets built into his engineering boots can be used to illegally open the back panel of Breath Edge coffins. Okay, so... You probably need some explanation about this. I have no right to inform you that Breath Edge Agency coffins exchange information with each other concerning obstacles flying by in order to avoid collisions in space. But collecting this information would help determine the trajectory of the captain's bridge, which in turn will determine the coordinates of its collision with the liner. Okay, so I was trying to figure out what the... Okay, we need to go get a bunch of stuff, but I'm breaking this open. I... I was hopeful that there would be paint in there. There apparently was not paint in there. Okay, so we're gonna have to go over and get a bunch of paint. That's the thing we have to do. All right, we, we've got enough oxygen, but there's... The alkali over there? No, that is not alkali. Okay, um, but yeah, um, we've got enough paint. Or no, we don't have enough paint. We've got enough oxygen to go get paint. But, and also we need to see what it takes to uh, make that master key. So we can start opening up some of these coffins. Open a couple of coffins, zero of 200. Are you for real? Oh my gosh. All right, so apparently we have to open a bunch of coffins now, which is not creepy at all. All right, so equipment, tools, aluminum, thick electrical tape. Okay, we can do that. Got some thick electrical tape right here. Thank you. And that's the repair tool. We need refined metal for that too. All right, let's get some refined metal. Not out of there. And some aluminum back. And I also just realized that to the right of us is a whole bunch of refined metal. Here, I'll show you. Hey, look, it's just hanging out right there. 
and some wire. Okay. Uh, well, all right. So now we have to go get paint and open up coffins along the way. Let's make some water and some food for our trip. And I don't want to eat these shawarmas. I'm just saying. All right, so. There. And we'll just hold on to that in our inventory until we need it. Oh, also, I need to make. A couple more scrappers because they are extremely valuable. Alright, so there was coffins down here, right? Let's get down here. The technology of opening the back panel of Breath Edge Agency coffins is commercial classified information, and therefore I cannot advise you to turn on the magnet, attach it to the lock, and pull the trigger to dislodge the locking mechanism. You'll have to figure it out yourself. This is <laughs> well, a non-standard modification. Looks like some you're doing great. You're almost there. Okay. Is there anything in it? Nope. Alright. What is this? Oh, scan. Oh, wrong button. Oh, large accelerator. Wait. If we can go faster? Yes. If we can go faster. That'll be a game changer. And also, we'll be going faster. That'll be awesome. And then I'm going to need to go get a whole bunch more coffee. I mean, just a few, right? Okay, so we need sh two shawarmas, fine metal, and yellowish water. Do we have any yellowish water? How does it... I know you can make yellowish water. It's four ice. Okay, so we need a bunch of ice. All right, so equipment. We just need a bunch of ice. Do we have a bunch of ice? <laughs> two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nailed it. Resources. Bam. And... Yeah, you know it. All right, and so... One, two. And just some of this refined metal right there. Just right next to us. Conveniently placed. <laughs> Give me speed, please. Thank you. All right, let's see. So if we don't need this accelerator anymore, we can just put that over there. Now let's see just how fast we can go. Not too much faster, but we can go farther. Okay, all right, so that is a thing. Okay, and then our standard, yeah, it's a six. Okay, so we're going over to the paint. Let's see if we can actually live to get there. I'm not sure if we can. I might have needed to bring an oxygen station. Oh, that's a long ways away. Oh, wow, that is a lot longer than I thought it was. Hmm, okay, well, we'll... All right, let's go back. I will get an oxygen station and then, well, hold on. can we actually make it this way? I'm thinking we probably can. All right, let me get an oxygen station so we can sit over there for a little bit. All right, let's see if we can do this now. All right, so we're coming out here. Coming out hot. And then we're going to see if we can just kind of cut across to the side, to the right. I'm not sure if we'll be able to. I 
mean, we've got enough oxygen to probably get either close or really close to there. I just hope we don't freeze to death. That's the big thing. That didn't bring any out. And we can go a lot further, a lot faster. With, well, not a lot faster, but faster with this new accelerator. All right, let's see. All right, so we made it here on this much oxygen. I want to put it up close to the front so where we can get in there and just get everything we want. And if we need to, we can come back. We know we can make it this far. Okay, so, uh, one. Now we'll just refill, get in there, do our thing. All right, so here's the, that one right there. I already got all that one. The, there's also lead flying all around over here. I mean, I don't think I need the lead, but I already got that one. Here, what is this? Lead. Oh, here we go. Here's more paint. How do we get into that? Can we get into that? I really want to get into that for some weird, strange reason. Oh, you're a paint glob, but you can't let me pick you up. Fine. You see how it is? All right, but how much paint do I have? I have four. That's how much I need for the for the helmet. Hoping to get a little bit more. And please don't tell me that we've exhausted all of our paint supply. That would be most unfortunate. I mean, look at all this paint. Can't we just pick up like a handful of it and carry it home? Right? All right, fine. Back to get more oxygen and get our butt back to uh, the base. All right, just over here grabbing glass and I might as well. Come on, just a little more. Do it before you realize that these mechanics just artificially prolong the gameplay. Exactly. I already figured that out, man. All right. Yeah, I'm over here getting. Glass. That's just ice. Right, and I've got oxygen candle on me. I need to. There's another one over there. But the ice right here, it's it's what's kind of kicking my butt. I mean it's not too bad, but And if I find any coffins along the way, then I'll get those. Also, I noticed if you take this left route right here, you don't get frozen as bad. You do get frozen, but not nearly as bad. Get over on this side. All right, back inside of here. What is that? Oh, I had wire on the ground. Okay. Let's see, we need plastic. Okay, we should have plastic around here somewhere. Resin. Plastic. Nailed it. Okay, equipment. Yay! Helmet covered with paint. And I ended up picking that up from the old bit. Oh. Yay! Um. The radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. 
Okay, that was a bad idea. Okay, this, um... <laughs> this... I gotta get a screech out of the absurdity of that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, alright. So, that is a thing, apparently. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, so, oh, and I found salt. Just put that away. Um, yeah, but we're going to... Go in through there, I think, because I think that's there. There's two places inside there, one there and one there, and they're way far away. So we're gonna need to make a couple more oxygen stations, or at least one more oxygen station. There we go, and then we'll get headed in and go exploring a bit. All right, coming down inside of here, and I apparently I'm probably gonna die. I need to explore what's in here. Auto cleaners. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. Right? The trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape. Oh, I want this much electrical tape. Oh, dude, that would be really helpful. Oh, look at all those rolls of electrical tape. Such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can go much further in. I mean, I'm already at 164 out of 175. What is that? A what? Hello, don't eat my face. Hello. Don't eat my face, but I need to know what you are. Come here. There. All right, fine. Okay, um, so I'm not seeing anything in here yet. Here's aluminum stuff. Okay, so there is aluminum and stuff inside of here. All right, let's get out and go find some coffins. Uh, I've been dreading finding coffins because it just seems, I mean, come on, 200? I mean, I know that can't be real, but hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> we have scripted for you. You only need three attempts. Okay, yes, my... Contribution to the industry, yeah! Data acquired, but its analysis will take about three days. Okay, all right. Ah, nope, three seconds are enough. Apparently, the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is to find something with similar properties in mayo and not kill yourself with such experiments. Okay. Seems like the liner's oh. bridge will be falling apart. We need to hurry. In this regard, I will calibrate the radiation sensors a bit. You'll be able to get much closer to the liner, and we'll assume that you are not exposed to radiation at all. Uh, just assume. <laughs> Let me get some air here. All right. Oh my gosh, that is great. By accident, I repeat, entirely by accident. Crack the data block, which I had insufficient privileges to access. From the information gathered, I can conclude that the agency coffins not only transmit information about obstacles, but also exchange strange encrypted data packets. Unfortunately, even when threatened with a drill, I wouldn't have enough power to decrypt it. You would need some military equipment here. Okay. All right. So, hey, it's been a weird episode. We've got all over uh, known uh, space, but there's a bunch of new stuff that just opened up as well. There's one over there. Uh, some over here as well, which means we're probably going way deep in there. Also, we need to go lower the radiation as well, but I think that's all the time we've got for her today. So, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying Breath Edge. I know I certainly am. Just the absurdity of this game on so many different levels. It just cracks me up. All right. But, hey, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flicker Foo, and take it easy, everybody. <sighs> At least I don't... You only have to, to rob to do three three grave robbing attempts in space it's not 200 <laughs> oh my gosh